Hi, it's Lindsay and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is my very first video. I mean, I have a vlog of my senior year trip to nationals, but that just doesn't count. I, mean, I wasn't like trying to be a YouTuber then. This is like the real first video. I didn't know what to do for my first video because I feel like the classic first video for people they always do like, why well, start a YouTube account? And I don't have like an amazing story. It's kind of the usual thing like, oh, I just like talking to a camera. I thought it'd be fun. I wanted to try it. I've always wanted to do it. Like it's the same thing. So really the only real thing to tell with that is that I've always just randomly recorded myself talking to a camera. And I started doing this thing for the past like year of my life where I just record myself talking. Whenever I wanted to talk about something, if I wanted to vent or document something, that was happening i just recorded myself talking about it or really it was just whenever i was bored and i wanted to procrastinate but anyway so then i was like i really want to start a youtube channel so here i am it's not the interesting of the story i was thinking about a way for people to get to know me and then it hit me i'll tell the story of what i wrote my college essay about because i figured if that's how i used the college admissions people to get to know me that's what i'll use for you guys to get to know me I have my thinking cap on. The story is, what you can tell from the title of this video, is that a Wendy's commercial changed my life. So I guess, should I just put the clip in of the commercial? I mean, I have it. Why not? I'll just play it. You were great. Home run. RBI. Did you get hit by a pitch? No. Well, that's something to celebrate. I guess. There's always something to celebrate with Wendy's new frosty waffle cone. So anyway, that was basically all you need to know from that. So it wasn't like I just watched that all at once and it just hit me. To be honest, I really don't even remember how old I was. I was like, it was like sometime in middle school, I think. I want to say like seventh or eighth grade. The story would be better if I remembered more details. So it hit me about two months later. I was in lunch with my friends. You know, when it's quiet at lunch and everyone does that thing like, so how was everyone's day? So we were all doing that and everyone was going through like, good, fine. And then that's when it hit me. I was like, why am I not calling it a great day? Nothing bad happened. Why am I focusing on the fact that nothing good happened? I should be focusing on the fact that nothing bad happened. Because if nothing bad happened, then what's there to complain about? Because all my friends are thinking nothing good happened. Why would I say it's a great day? But nothing bad happened. Anyway, you get the point. Then I thought of the commercial. She, the little girl decided to celebrate the fact that she did not get hit by a pitch. That's what she chose to celebrate that day. All of a sudden, there's something to celebrate. All of a sudden, it's a good day and there's a reason to go get ice cream. Instead of focusing on the fact that maybe she didn't hit the ball or whatever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Basically, my whole philosophy after viewing that Wendy's commercial is I feel like a lot of people start their day at a zero and they wait for amazing events to happen and build it up and make it a 10. Where I like to start my day at a 10. And if nothing bad happens, my day stays a 10. Whereas the person that started their day at a zero is still disappointed. Every day there's something to celebrate. It's all about your perspective. There's always something to be happy about and to celebrate. With that being said, I had another idea for a way for people to get to know me. This past year on my vacation, my whole family made cahoots about ourselves. So I thought we could play the cahoot so you guys could get to know me that way. So I can't be raged. My Wi-Fi is being weird. It's pouring rain, can you see? Load, load, please load, please load. Wait, I don't have an advice to log in on. Can I log in on this? Oh yeah, it doesn't let me start if there's no players. Rats. Wait, so I have to play it? I don't know, I think this through. Oh well, it'll work. Is that, is it backwards when you watch it? Oh, you can see my lamps. Maybe I'll just read the questions. Wait, but the music's fun. What is my favorite color? The answer is yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. What is my favorite movie? High School Musical, Mamma Mia, The Notebook, or The Fault in Our Stars? Mamma Mia is the correct answer, but I also realized in the last couple months, I really like the movie Trainwreck with Amy Schumer. I think it's a fantastic movie. This is not going as well as I expected, but it's fine. So the next question is, what is my favorite book? Looking for Alaska, To All the Boys I've Ever Before, The Sun is Also a Star, The Fault in Our Stars. All books I've actually read, by the way. My favorite book is The Fault in Our Stars. I know that's so cheesy and like totally 2014. But I was obsessed with it. I really liked The Sun is Also a Star, though. I'm a big believer in, like, fate and just, like, everything happening for a reason. And that book just has so much of that. Also, I'm such a hopeless romantic. The next question is, what is my favorite chip flavor? 
The options are nacho cheese Doritos, wavy Lay's, sour cream onion, sour cream and cheddar. And the correct answer is wavy Lay's. So, wait a minute. I don't have to play the Kahoot. I can just read the questions off. Whatever, it's more fun this way. So my whole family like yelled at me for this question because they said Wavy Lay's isn't a flavor, but like it is, it's on the bag. Like I get it, but like I don't get it. Like Wavy's a shape, or, like a design. Cause you have like the original name, the Wavy. So it's like one of the flight, you know what I mean? Either way, that's my favorite. I really like nacho cheese Doritos though too. What is my favorite pasta shape? Penne, angel hair, rigatoni, or spaghetti? And the answer is spaghetti. I love a good thick noodle. <laughs> I like when it's thicker, like angel hair is like the same thing as spaghetti, but it's thinner. Spaghetti is thick, thick spaghetti even better. Anyway, next question. What is my favorite Daughtry song? Over you, feels like tonight, what about now, it's not over. And the correct answer is over you. If you're sitting there thinking, how does that song go? Let me remember, cause I kind of forget. Um, oh, who? When I never saw it coming, you should stop me running a long, long time and give a loo. Yes, I know I can't sing. What is my favorite kind of cookie? Chocolate chip, sugar cookie, snickerdoodle, white chocolate macadamia nut. White chocolate macadamia nut. And the correct answer is sugar cookie. I freaking love sugar cookies. But not those ones, like, you know the ones that everyone like has such mixed feelings about with like the icing on top? Like those are fine, but that's not what I'm talking about. What is my favorite Friends episode? Love the show Friends. The one where Ross can't flirt, the one with the kips, the one with Joey's Taylor, the one with the prom video. The answer is the one with the kips. So the titles are all about stuff that happens in the episode, but this one I feel like is kind of vague. So this is the one where, spoiler alert, Ross has to tell Rachel that Emily doesn't want him to see her anymore. The reason it's called the one with the kips is because Rachel's like, I'm gonna be like Kip, your old roommate. Him and Monica dated, and then he couldn't even stand to be around you guys anymore, and then he got phased out. So anyway, that's why it's called The One with the Kips. I think they really should have picked a better title for that. The whole beginning part is so funny. Rachel's like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, um, we're flipping Monica's mattress. I say we pick it up, and then we flip it. <laughs> anyway, what is my favorite flower? Orchid, sunflower, daisy, or tulip? And the correct answer is sunflower. So a little story about this one. I, the correct answer when I played this with my family was actually tulip and they got so mad at me because I have sunflowers on everything. My sweet 16 theme was sunflowers, like my megaphone for cheer was sunflowers. I just, I have sunflowers for everything. And so obviously they all put sunflowers, but I actually think tulips are like prettier than sunflowers. But since I've thought about it and I realized, cause sunflowers, I like their vibe, you know? Like they're just like a happy, positive vibe. But like that's not, mm. I don't know. So I changed the answer from tulip to sunflower. Which celebrity do I hate the most? <laughs> Rachel Ray, Kelly Ripa, Tiffany Haddish, David Muir. And the correct answer is David Muir. Ah, I feel so bad. Like he annoys me, but there's no reason to like go spread hate, you know? Like he's just doing his thing. Like he's not doing anything wrong. David Muir is the guy from ABC. He does like the nightly news stuff. And I'm just, we're just not, I'm not following his vibe. Sorry, David Muir. Next question, what is my favorite Pandora station? Train radio, Hannah Montana radio, High School Musical radio, Glee cast radio. And the correct answer is train radio. Oh, that's fantastic. You just have to listen to it. Like early 2000s, late 90s, softer songs like Train, Lifehouse, Five for Fighting, Goo Goo Dolls, Five Doors Down, Three Doors Down, oh my God. <laughs> Which random thing do I not hate? The number nine, coins, chess, CEO from a million little things. And the correct answer is chess. So what to take from this? I hate the number nine, I hate coins, and I hate Theo from the show A Million Little Things. I sound like Jade from Victorious. Which is my favorite couple? Pam and Jim, Luke and Lorelai, Corey and Topanga, Nick and Jess. And the correct answer is Corey and Topanga. Put some respect on Boy Meets World. Which costume was I twice for Halloween? Nerd, angel, bunny, red coat from Pretty Little Liars. So I was a bunny twice. I was all of those at one point. I was red coat from Pretty Little Liars. Such an embarrassing time because I had to wear, um, I had a red jacket and I put the hood on. But like, and obviously my hair is blonde, but it wasn't like, you couldn't like see it. Like it was shorter at that time. So I had to get a blonde wig. Oh my God, that was so, that was embarrassing. I don't know. Ah. What is the name of my main playlist? 
good vibes, my jams, that funky music, Ox with fam. And the correct answer is that funky music because I think I'm like funny. Cause you know that song's like, why the funky music, what boy? I named it that so that way I could go, hey Siri, play that funky music. And then she does. <laughs> I think it's so funny. I do have a Good Vibes playlist and an Oxo Fan playlist though. My Jams is not a real playlist that I have. I do have my Glee Jams though. What is the first thing I do when I wake up? Check my sleep score, take out my retainer, send Snapchat streaks, crack my elbows. The correct answer is crack my elbows. So these are all, besides send Snapchat streaks, those are all, I check out my, I check my sleep score and I take out my retainer. But the first thing I do when I wake up is I'm laying there and I go, and then my elbows crack. What word do I think is fun to say? Extinguisher, phenomenon, slope, granola. The correct answer is granola. But you have to say it like in the right way. Granola, granola. <laughs> Anywho, which company has my favorite jingle? Cambridge Paving Stones, The General Insurance, We Are Farmers, Goldfish. And the correct answer is The General Insurance. That jingle does not get enough respect, but we all know it. For a great low rate, you can get online. Go to the general and save some time. Next question, what was my senior quote? I won't read all these because it's kind of irritating, but the correct answer is, ah, ah, I just moved the tab. The correct answer is see the world as it is, no. See, I just forgot it. See the world not as it is, but as it should be. It's um from Glee. Which thing do I not want to learn? How to ride a unicycle, how to play piano, how to break dance, how to juggle. And the correct answer is, I just moved the tab again, I hate myself, how to juggle. So I do want to learn how to ride a unicycle, how to play piano, and how to break dance. I can juggle, like I know how to, but it just doesn't happen. But I know how to, technically. Which thing can't I do? Make a four-leaf clover with my tongue, roll my R's, whistle, make a taco shape with my tongue. The correct answer is roll my R's. It does, I've gone on wiki how, and not, so many people have tried to teach me, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh, oh. What song do I always say is super catchy? Conga by Gloria Estefan, Little Willie, Coca Cabana, Baby by Justin Bieber. And the correct answer is Conga by Gloria Estefan. And let me just say, I made this kahoot back in like July. And then it became a TikTok trend. And I was, oh, I was so out of my mind because I, I feel like I just manifested that. But that song is so catchy. And so I just wanna point out, I said that before it was a TikTok trend. Which dance move can't I do? The worm, moonwalk, coffee grinder, backspin. The correct answer is a backspin. So I can moonwalk, do the coffee grinder and the worm. And the backspin is a, a break dance move that like I've been trying to learn a tutorial, like watching tutorial that I've been watching tutorials on and I just can't seem to get it. And it's so freaking frustrating. There's, I have, I try to learn to break dance so often. I just think it'd be so cool just to be able to like and spin like that. But no, I have zero upper body strength. And, oh, which random thing do I not have memorized? The gold digger rap, the real slim shady rap, the single ladies dance, and the we're all in this together dance. And the correct answer is the gold digger rap. So my, this is another one that drew some um, complaining from my family members because I know like 95% of the gold digger rap, but there's just a few words in there that I'm not positive about. Whereas the real Slim Shady rap, I know every single word of that. I know the single ladies dance all the way through and the we're all in this together dance all the way through. So that's the last question. Oh, I got first place. Yeah! So yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all you know about me. I hope this was somewhat interesting. I'm gonna try to post videos like every week, I guess. We'll see how it goes. I'm so excited to finally be doing this. I've been wanting to do it for so freaking long. Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok, both Lindsay with two Y's Kaiser. I'll see you next week, and I hope you find something to celebrate today. Bye!